a very good evening everyone are you able to hear me well how you people are doing today okay uh, so we are going to complete the chapter that is industrial democracy fine All right. So, is everyone able to hear me well? Sanobar, Kelvin, Prabhavati, Nixon, Seher, Adarsh. Now, let's proceed ahead with this chapter which we were doing yesterday. Yeah. This we have covered already. Now let's go to the next part of it. This, all these stuffs we have covered in that PPT. Yeah. Now, evaluation of workers. Yes. Evaluation of workers participation in management. The various schemes of workers participation in management have failed to live up to the expectations of employers and employees. After reviewing the literature in the field, Zakir has provided the reasons for the failure of the concept in India. So when it comes to industry, workers participation in management, this concept has failed literally in India. And um, Zakir has studied the reasons behind it. Lack of understanding of the concept. If you implement something but you don't understand the concepts of it, obviously it is going to fail, right? So same has happened with uh, work, uh, this scheme of workers' participation and management, okay? Rigid attitude of the employees. Employees, they might have implemented the same but they have a rigid attitude. They don't want to follow it literally. So owing to that, it is going to be, it, is, it will fail because it is there in paper but they don't implement it in, uh, by their nature. You, that thing is not reflected in their nature and thinking. So owing to that, it has failed. Fine? Clear everyone? Okay. Vagueness of the legal definition, scope and functions of these bipartite forums. Half-hearted implementation of decisions arrived at these forums. So, and other things which they do, employees are very rigid. Uh, are not employees but employers they are very rigid first of all uh, mentally and uh, physically they won't implement it you just cannot it's not reflected in their behavior moreover if uh, they actually take decisions half-hearted and uh, you know they don't take it wholeheartedly owing to that uh, you know it has been the suspicion in the minds of trade union leaders that industrial democracy would fra fragment their authority and weaken their hold over union members and even in case of trade union leaders they they also not implement it properly because you know they feel that if this is going to be there that is industrial democracy you know what is going to happen it would fragment their authority and weaken their hold over union members so the uh, person who might be heading the union okay they think that if this is going to implement um, you know uh, i am going to lose control over the employees in the union okay people in the union so they don't they also don't support it wholeheartedly fine so it's um, you know it's the weakness at the end of the employers as well as employees which leads to a failure of this thing in India which led to failure of this thing in India that is uh, workers participation and management they wanted to bring it but they were not able to bring it literally fine did you understand everything shall we move ahead now Manage, uh, measures now what measures should be taken in India so that you know workers can effectively participate in the management okay 
managerial attitude. There is an urgent need to offer training and education to workers and employees to make participative culture a success. First of all, see, uh, the main reason why it was not a success because, you know, employers, they were not taking it wholeheartedly, right? So, you need to train and educate workers as well as employees that, you know, participative culture would be a success. Unless and until they are going to learn it, they will never implement it. You won't see it in their behavior and it is going to fail them. So, both, need, both employees and employers need to participate actively. They have to tune it up. They have to feed it somewhere in their mind that uh, uh, working together would be a success. Then only this can happen. The employer should be willing to share information and share a portion of their hard-earned authority in favor of workers. Now, see, uh, this employers have been controlling workers since ages. So, they have this thing that I control them. They have this kind of attitude. It's a kind of ego. So, they should be ready to shed it and, um, you know, in the light of uh, recent researches, uh, you know, they should change their attitude as well. They should share the information wholeheartedly with the workers. Then only, you know, uh, you can bring, uh, then only you can win their, you know, like, uh, then only they want to believe you. Right? Then only you can win their trust. Right? When it comes to workers. Workers are uniformed and lack the employers therefore must make conscious efforts to bring them to a certain level before drawing them to the negotiating table. So see, workers have never done this before. You know, most of the times, you know, employers have been taking decisions. And they had this decision taking capability in their hands and they take decisions. So when it comes to the employees, they are not tuned to this. Okay, they are not tuned to this. They are, you know, you can say um, they are inexperienced in this. So before bringing them to the negotiating table, you have to train them. Right? Then only they would be able to negotiate because they are not uh, uh, aware of, they are aware of it but they are not used to it. Right? To earn their respect and trust, management must involve workers by identifying a clear cut agenda where the role of participation, the participants are clearly defined. And now if the employers want to train them and they want to want to bring, you know, win the trust of the employees, in that case what they should do? They should, um, you know, place a clear-cut agenda in front of them and they should clearly mention that, okay, five people are participating, so this, this would be their role. They should clearly mention their role. Then only, you know, there won't be any confusion. Fine? Is Prabhavati the only student in class? How about others? Are you not able to follow me? Maria? Abdul Salam, KP Krishnan, Adarsh, Seher, Nixon, Kelvin, Sanobar. Okay, fine. Now, developing, see, now when it comes to, you know, industrial democracy, both has to take decision jointly, right? So, they should lay down the guidelines. The employers should lay down the guidelines only. Then only, you know, both will be aware what has to be done exactly, how far um, they need to participate, as far, how far they can interfere as far as the, you know, decision-making ability goes. Keeping employees informed of all decisions arrived at their implementation and the outcomes. And you should let employees know that, okay, this is the decision, these are the decisions you need to make, we are going to make, not you, and this would be the outcome. Evaluating the progress of joint councils from town to time. So once they have started up taking joint decisions, you know, they should uh, evaluate from time to time whether it is a success or not. So unless an until managerial attitude will change, you just cannot implement it practically and even if you are implementing it, uh, it will fail. If you want it uh, uh, to, you know, like be a success, then in that case, of course, you have to, you know, bring a change in your attitude, both employers and employees. But more at the end of, um, you know, employers. Fine. Okay. Union cooperation, the workers' participation scheme to be effective must be based on mutual trust and confidence between the unions and management. Unions must believe that the participative forums are not meant to cut their roots. See, even it's uh, the, it's the you know, you can say it's not only employee, em, employer's fault, it's the employee's fault as well, especially, you know, trade unions. They believe uh, that uh, if uh, this is going to happen, we are going to lose control over the union members. So, this should be eradicated, right? Um, unions must believe that participative forums are not meant to cut their roots. To end this, management must try to define the boundaries clearly. 
and they can only you know um, they what we need to do we need to do the brainwash because you know they still believe the union people that uh, if this is going to happen uh, you know these employers are involving us in decisions uh, because they believe uh, they are going to snatch you know authority from us that's why they are doing it okay so uh, what we can do uh, obviously see in every company there is a union you just cannot rule out the possibility of not having a union everywhere it is there it is there it might have as less as two members but it will be there for sure okay so uh, management can only make the union believe that uh, this would be for the benefit of both employees and employers they need to define the boundaries clearly to be fair they must give due representation to members from the recognized union without playing favorites and whatever union members have been elected uh, you know to take decisions on the behalf of the whole union they should be given due respect without you know favoring anyone or not um, you know giving due respect to anyone just because they are union members fine in a multiple union situation this issue assumes added significance in that employers can influence the election of representatives to the participative forums by align, aligning with their own yes men from the ranks and file not all unions agree now to the election of representatives through secret ballot so union cooperation see it's not like employers need to change their attitude it's the union as well who needs to change their attitude so that it can be implemented properly fine is this much clear to everyone now meaning participation if the participation relates to only tea towels and toilets as the indian experience experience clearly shows most of the meetings in india meet whether it's a meeting or a, you know you are going out for a training most of them you know people go there to have fun nothing more right whether it's a seminar or a meeting or something else you know just most of the people they go there to have good snacks Uh, okay they won't listen if, even if the speaker is speaking a good thing okay giving presentations everyone will be busy with their mobile phones whatsapp or they'll be busy they just go there so that uh, they can enjoy the day right so this should not be there to be useful participation should cover a wide range of issues okay you should actively participate in that like uh, many people they come in class but they don't participate actively they just come here to show that they are present for the sake of attendance this should not be there meaning participation should be there right workers can only represent their cases and seek quick solutions on the spot so they should uh, develop, you know discuss wide range of things in that uh, meeting or seminar and uh, everyone should get the chance to speak and uh, you know they should be asked questions uh, you know every now and then to ensure that they are following okay further the participative forum should not be merely consultative and advisory body dealing with the peripheral and significant routine issues relating to labor welfare workers must have really uh, have a real say in all important work related matters including grievances handling and then only they begin to participate so it and these forums should not just discuss that okay this employee is suffering from this so they should be eradicated they should develop all the crucial issues related to various departments in the company then only they are going to believe that uh, you know employers way up otherwise there is no point it would be more of a you know problem solving forum right is this much clear to everyone shall we proceed ahead okay fine workers attitude workers must have complete faith in the efficiency of the system and sometimes you know workers uh, you know uh, employers might be trying to do justice with them they might be willing to do justice with them but workers they also have this thing deep rooted in their mind that you know uh, they can never favor us when it comes to employers right so this should be eradicated they should have complete faith in the efficiency of the system if you don't have faith in something okay you people come here for study if you don't have a faith in your teacher irrespective of how good she might be teaching how informative her class may be for her or his you won't believe in her you won't be able to trust her you won't be able to follow her completely right 
तो सिमिलर इज एप्लीकेबल टू यू नो वर्कर्स इन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू टू इनकरेज अ पार्टिसिपेटिव कल्चर अमंग वर्कर्स सेमिनार्स कॉन्फ्रेंसेज वर्कशॉप मस्ट बी हेल्ड हाईलाइटिंग द यूजफुलनेस ऑफ पार्टिसिपेशन एंड इन सी दे आर न्यू टू सो यू नीड टू यू नो लाइक कन्विंस दैम ओवर इट एंड इन ऑर्डर टू कन्विंस दैम वॉट यू नीड टू डू कंटिन्यूस यू नीड टू ट्रेन दैम यू नीड टू फीड दिस इन दै माइंड यू नो यू नीड टू टेल दैम दैट हाउ यूजफुल इट इज एंड इट कम्स टू पार्टिसिपेशन इफ दे आर पार्टिसिपेटिंग एक्टिवली इट दे आर नॉट कंपनी इज गोइंग टू बेनिफिट फॉर श्योर बट दे आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू ग्रो इफ कंपनी इज गोइंग टू ग्रो फाइन workers must have a sense of job security and freedom from reprisals resulting from their participation the overall working environment must be congenial enough to inspire the workers to give their best to the organization and even the work environment should not be curbing it should be promoting instead it should be motivating instead then only you know you can expect the best from them right clear okay now uh, before we jump to the next part that is the case it okay we don't understand the meaning of that word congenial see congenial is like like minded pleasing pleasant something of that kind pleasant okay is is it clear fine before we move ahead to the case study associated with the same thing that is uh, effective workers participation in management i want you people to read it on your own the part which i have taught you just now to get the better understanding of this i'm going to make make it a bit larger fine is it clear once you are done with this just let me know yeah so read from managerial till aitc
Okay, is everyone done with it? Should I scroll it down? Okay. Now, read the remaining parts of it from meaning. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, leave those words. I'm going to, um, you know, I'm going to enlighten you on that once we are going to finish this chapter. Fine, Sabhavati? Just read from meaning participation till organization. Fine, Sanobar, Kelvin, Prabha, Seher, Adarsh, Mohammed, Darshana, K.P. Ramakrishna. Just read it fast and then we are going to do the case study. Okay, fine. Now, you have to do this case study on your own and then you have to write the conclusion for the same. So, first of all, you have to write, see, workers participation in management and Tesco. So, you have to read it on your own. This is a task for you. We are done with this chapter. Okay. First of all, read it properly and then you have to write the short summary for this. Is it clear? Is it clear everyone? Only Prabha is responding. How about others? Darshana, K.P. Ramakrishnan, Adarsh, Seher, Kelvin, Sanobar, Mohammed Mehfuz. So read from in till issues and then I'm going to scroll it down. Read it properly. You have to write the proper summary, appropriate summary of this.
Are you done till issues? Are you done till issues? WPM means worker participation in management. Okay, Darshana is done, Prabha is done. How about others? Mohammed, Ramakrishnan, Adarsh, Seher, Sanobar, Kelvin. Are you people done? Okay. Okay. Now read from here till here. Read the remaining parts of this and then you have to write the summary for this. It's written here. The Joint Workers Council. JWC is Joint Workers Council. It's okay. It's okay. No issues. Yeah, now you have to write the summary for the same, the same, what is being mentioned in that case study. Now you have, are you people writing the summary for the same? Sanobar, Kelvin, Prabhavati, Seher, Adarsh, K.P. Ramakrishnan, Darshana and Mohammed. Are you people writing the summary for the same? Okay. I need to remove that. So that you, you cannot see that.
Are you done with it? Prabhavati, Ramakrishna, both of you are done with the same, right? How about others? For those who are done with the same, you have to solve these questions. Uh, you have to choose three questions out of the five mentioned. Okay? Just choose any three questions and answer them. Fine. And then we are done with this topic. We are going to start with the next topic tomorrow, uh, on Friday itself. answer any three questions out of the five mentioned on the board and for those who haven't finished the case study show me that as well Fine. Answer three questions out of the five mentioned on the board.
Okay. Uh, Sahat, how many questions you have finished? Adarsh, how about you? K.P. Ramakrishna, Darshana, Mohammed, Prabhavati, Kelvin and Sanubar. How many questions you people have finished? Okay. Fine, let me check your answer. <coughs> yeah, okay, fine. I'm waiting for others to submit the answers. Just submit it fast. Yeah, you can leave for today. We are done for today. Okay. And we are going to begin with the fresh chapter uh, on Friday. Fine. Yeah, good night. Thank you so much.
Okay, so has everyone finished it? Sanoba, Kelvin, whoever has finished, take and leave. Okay, okay. Okay, fine. So whoever has finished it, they can leave. Okay? Is it clear? Sanobal, have you finished it? Kelvin, how about you? Adarsh, Darshana, Mohammed Mehfuz, Abdul Salam. Okay, so you can leave. Just don't forget to fill the feedback form. Yeah, fine. Okay, fine. So that's it for today. Thank you so much. Okay, see you in the next class. Please be there. Okay, we are surely going to cover, um, you know, a new chapter. Okay, Mohammed Mahfouz. I have checked your answer. Thank you so much. Bye. And, uh, um, you know, in the next class, we will cover a bit of business English a bit of case study and a bit of HR. Okay? Uh, fine others. Fine others.
the same. Okay, fine, fine. Thank you so much, everyone. Take care, bye.